of compassion and nurturance and what I recognize is many women having a difficult time demonstrating to each other to themselves and therefore to the children they have no compassion for this child's experience or seemingly based on your behaviors it's like you could say you have compassion and you have love for this child and then turn around and berate her and put her down and compare her to a three-year-old and you need to wash her ass and what is wrong with you and I don't I don't want that's not acceptable and I don't want to hear this and shut up don't you dare cry I told you that what is your problem I, I, I you know that that doesn't seem that lacks compassion because if you know the child has been harmed already why would you harm her further and um, if you like, I can help you understand trauma, traumatic stress, what it is and how it works. 
And I can also understand and appreciate, you know, that the older sister have issues, if you will, and those are issues of having been harmed or hurt themselves. Hurt people hurt people. But it's about compassion and our ability to demonstrate it and, and our ability to receive it. Because, you know, to be, for me, to be compassionate, it means that I, I end up nurturing. I'm working to nurture. When I recognize someone is hurt, I'm going to work to nurture them. Oh, I understand. Because when I get hurt, we take care. We take care of ourselves. We clean it. We wrap it. We nurse ourselves. Nurse and nurture. We don't, this is wrong. Ooh, this shouldn't be here like that. What's this? We don't do that. So why do it to a person's psyche and their heart, their spirit? Compassion. Learn what that is. And learn to practice it and to accept it. I've worked to, when I am being myself, nurturing and compassionate, um, I find that many people, especially the adults, have a more difficult time accepting it. Children accept our nurturing. Oh, baby, what happened? Come here. They accept it. They desire it. They gravitate to it. Adults, oh no, ain't nothing wrong with you. You need to get over it. Oh, it ain't that big of a deal. Oh, that ain't nothing. Oh, you did such a good job. I thought, oh, it ain't nothing. You know, oh, I don't want to hear it. You know, I'm so sorry that it hurt. Eh, well, I'm sorry. It ain't no big deal. Oh, yeah, I'm hurting, but I don't need no help. That's okay. We we have our compassion for ourselves. And if you don't demonstrate compassion for yourself, then if it's going to be reflected in how you deal with other people. And that is what I saw as well. The lack of compassion and recognizing that that woman uh, could benefit from it and when I did offer it, she had a hard time with it. And we pretty much rejected it and pretty much said she didn't want to talk to me anymore. So, this is just an encouragement for um, you know, a point of reflection in terms of knowing self, in terms of practicing a program of recovery. One of the things that I learned to look at myself is how compassionate I'm able to be with myself. Um, when I do things that I know are hurtful to myself or in some way cause harm to myself, to be compassionate and forgiven of myself and nurture myself as opposed to beating myself up, you stupid, you dumb, you this, you that. We don't, or we do do that to ourselves. People do it, and that's a problem. I work to stop doing that. Um, and I encourage other people to not do it too. But many people deny that they do it, but then it's reflected in your behaviors. So I just needed to kind of follow up with that and get that out and, you know, take another opportunity to make a video. So, hey, hi, thanks for listening to me share. Till next time, peace. In the sin and this iniquity. Shape and iniquity. I want to look up the word iniquity and, and, and break that down a little bit more in terms of how I recognize that, you know, we've been shaped in iniquity and that iniquity is the European cultural and behavioral style, you know, and force fed, and that cultural style is one that is diametrically opposed to us, to self, to me, to Mama Earth, to Mama Africa, our culture. And as a result, we behave that way towards ourselves and each other. So I understand why the mothers do what they do and how they do what they do. And that particular uh, mother who functions at times as a other mother for that child, I understand uh, that she's hurt, and that's why she does what she does and how she does did what she did. Mm. And at the same time, I want to offer the same support, nurturance and understanding and give her a place in this to begin the process of healing herself so that that does not have to be transmitted 